Hey, creative friends, welcome to my channel. And it is Saturday, May the 18th, 2024, and this is Saturday Happenings. And you know, on Saturday Happenings, usually I'd like to talk about the videos I did last week, what's coming up next week, and things like that. Well, the videos I did last week, there's not a lot to talk about because I didn't do any. But the only reason I didn't do any is because we got home from our trip and we spent the week getting things in order, taking care of things. It was just a busy week. Um, and so I didn't do any videos, but I've got a bunch coming up for next week. But I'm excited because if you can see behind me, check it out. I've got everything. I did some work on the yard. I'm going to show you. Let me point this out. So the coop is ready because today I'm getting my girls. I'm so excited. I'm getting eight chickens. So I've got everything ready. That is a like a dusting bin. I've got stuff in there so that they can dust. I've got their food and their water ready and their bin back there. There's perch and everything in there. But then over here, I painted that thing yellow. And what it is, it's got little, I don't know. I found this on the side of the road and it's so cool. It has like little, um, little round things like you would put a little pot in. So I'm going to put herbs in there. The bathtubs I painted, made them fun colors because I like everything to be colorful. So I've got a teal bathtub and a bright, a pink bathtub, kind of a cool pink. And I'm going to paint, put um, just some flowers in there. And down here in these two beds, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a combination of herbs and flowers, uh, because this year I just want to focus on flowers. And then I painted everything all nice and bright colors. And then along the side of the coop, I'll show you. Oh, I've got my little, my rooster. He's looking good. Hang on. Painted him up made him look great um, but I've even got these little hanging pots on either side of the coop so it's gonna be fun and I'm gonna get the girls today so I cannot wait super excited I'll be picking them up today but today is a busy day for me because I'm gonna go do uh, I'm gonna participate in the jams and jellies workshop I'm excited about uh, I haven't done a workshop in a, in a while because we've been gone we were gone a month so I just missed one but, um, but yeah, I'm going to go do the workshop and then I'm going to pick up my chickens on the way home. And then I know a lot of people have asked about the septic. I'm going to show you. So they came and they had to dig this hole. And so I'll just see if I can turn it around. See that big hole they dug right there. It's a great big hole. It's for the DEQ guy to come and check our ground. Um, the problem is our backyard is higher than our front yard. You see, that's our garage. It's like a daylight basement. So it's like our house looks like two stories in the front and one in the back. And that's our, our garage, which I can sit on the roof of our garage and talk to my chickens. But thing is, um, because they were talking about putting the septic lines up here, now they don't know if we have like a foundation drain. So if anything drains up here, it's going to go down on the foundation drain and drain out in the front. So that would be contaminated. So now they've determined that possibly the actual septic field is fine um, and they can just replace all of the lines. So we don't know. And the DEQ guy that came was a substitute because unfortunately the DEQ guy that we usually have in our area, has he passed away earlier this month. So they're using substitutes from other areas. So luckily we can still use our septic, but it still needs some work. So... We haven't determined what we're going to do. It's a foundation issue, and across the backyard here, our water line goes, and there has to be a 10-foot um, area for that. So the thing is, our, we have, oops, sorry, we have a lot of, we have, you know, property, but the flat area where they can do the septic lines is limited. So we're working through that. We'll get through it. It'll end up fine. But that's one of the things we were dealing with last week. So... No videos last week, but next week. Okay, starting tomorrow. Tomorrow I've got a product review for WeVac. You guys are going to want to see this because it's very cool. It's the company that I did that um, that chamber vacuum. They actually, I'm an affiliate for them, so they're going to send me stuff periodically to show you. Um, and it benefits me to show you, I'll be honest. Yeah, I get a little bit from it, but I would not do that for a company I didn't believe in. So we'll just say that. So tomorrow I'm going to have a cool video showing uh, a product that they sent me that was here when I got back. And it's so cool. I can't wait to show you. So there's that. And then I had a subscriber, Billy. Billy was interested in my Voodoo Lily. The You know, I've done videos on that before. And Billy is like a rare plant phenomenon. Like so much information I got from Billy. But 
he said, you know what, I have other plants that are like voodoo lilies and all these other cool rare plants. So I'm going to send you some tubers. So I'm going to go through those because those just came yesterday. I'm picking them up today on my way home too. So I've got, that's coming. I'm so excited because they're really cool plants. So that's happening. Um, and then that's coming tomorrow, later this week too. And then I'm going to do on Mondays, you know, my mix it up Mondays is going to be a make it up Monday where I'm going to use mixes. But I was so surprised when I got home about how many mixes I need to replace. So I'm going to do kind of a little restocking and show you what I'm going to have to remake. You know, I'm going to have to make again because I've used up those mixes and then I'm going to start using a bunch of those mixes um, in recipes. So you can see what I actually use and I'll put the links to how to make those mixes. So that's coming up on Monday. Later in the week, hmm, I got another cool thing to show you because I'm so excited. I am going to start a, um, a sourdough series because I've dabbled in sourdough before. I've had sourdough. I had Dodie. Remember, she was good. She lasted a long time. But I didn't keep it up. And what my goal is, is I have friends that have sourdough like for years and every week they're making something. I want to be that girl. So I am going to show you some super cool products from a company called Need Ace um, that I'm excited because that's going to start my sourdough series, my journey through sourdough. And I have tons of recipes that I got from a friend of mine that uses sourdough all the time. And also from our Breads and Grains workshop. We... Um, and the fermenting, I think it was a workshop. Anyway, so a couple of the workshops came up with some really great uh, recipes in their little um, pamphlet that they hand out. So I'm going to do a bunch of those. But on Wednesday, I believe, should be Wednesday, I'm going to show you what I'm going to use to make it happen. And I'm excited about that. Um, and then sourdough, make it Monday. And then, of course, I'm going to do videos of my chickens because I'm super excited about them. So those are the things that I have set for this coming week. Um, and other than that, it's just going to be a, a week where I'm doing things and I'm going to, I've got another, I've got a recipe in my head that I'm going to actually do this week too. It's for my pantry cooking for two Tuesday. So my goal is to have a pantry cooking for two Tuesday and use a lot of my mix it ups, my mixes in those recipes, which I've done before, but I'm actually going to do some more of that. So that's pretty much it from a Saturday, from a Saturday happenings. It's just good to be back getting some of these things done and I'm super excited about my chickens and I think I'm just going to set a camera up right in that corner and do like a time lapse and watch them. <laughs> I could do that all the time but I'm excited because I've got everything unpacked. I need to put my sewing room back in order and I've got some projects there too. So I'm going to be a busy girl especially after I get my girls um, and other than that I just hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and you know as always thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.